All right, guys, what's up, what's up? Quick, imprompt video, okay? Um, for those of you guys that are brand new to the channel, welcome to Tactical Ashigarami TV. And as per usual, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. So we're going to get right into it. Um, some of you probably have already seen the title and you're wondering uh, why or you know, what, what, you know why is he, is he always doing this again? Um, first off, right, when it comes to performance and QC, I am very big on performance, especially um, performance enhancing parts. As you guys know, I've done an extensive amount of work with my Glocks and my High Kappas in particular, right? Which brings us to today's situation. So, um, to say the least, um, today's games at HQ Trad were interesting, were very fun. Oh, it was overall a very hot day. It was super, super hot. Um, I literally almost passed out twice, but nonetheless, um, still a very good day, you know, for the most part. Uh, those videos will be coming soon. Anyway, back to the situation here. So, to make a long story short, this product has to be called into question. Um, some of you guys may know what this is. For those of you that don't, this is the Lilax Dynamic Piston Head that is available for the Glocks and the High Kappas, I think for other variants as well, such as the M9. Uh, I think I have them on other types of air saw pistols. Anyway, so this is a toy component, and just to kind of get this out the way, this is not a real component for any real firearm. There are no deadly firearms or dangerous tools or anything dangerous in this video. There's nothing dangerous in this video. This is a part of an imitation tool. That's it. Um, there are, there's nothing dangerous here. So just to kind of get that out the way. Anyway, uh, I installed one of these also on one of my high kappas. Now recently, actually twice within this month, uh, you know, other than today, I had a situation where um, basically what I had today was the O-ring, right, that you see right here that's on the outer rim of the piston head came off or got loose, or almost actually came completely off uh, inside of my Nighthawk High Kappa. Some of you know which one that is, the silver one that I've run before on YouTube. And basically it locked the slide into the slide lock position and it could not go back into battery and function. So what I had to do during a game was I had to try to push it back in and it didn't work. So I had to go home and then literally unscrew everything like this and take this out and put the O-ring back on. Um, therein lies the problem. I don't know if that's going to happen again. More than likely um, it will based on what happened today. So with this particular part, the problem is that, you know, and with most of the other Lilacs products, and, and I, I hate to make this video because I believe that Lilacs is a good company for the most part, but I'm really big on QC, so I don't know if I can let this slide. Now, I, I'm, play, I'm trying to play with my Glock today, and now I'm saying to myself, I, this, there's a possibility that it can happen with the Glock Murphy's Law, you know, but I don't want to put that in my mind, right? Because I don't know that's going to be an actuality. Lo and behold, it happens. And as you can see here, this is it, 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 how it is in its normal state, basically, right? Um, when it's completely off, this O-ring is out of this groove and it's somewhere in behind your, your blowback unit. And this just happens every single time whenever the magazine gets warm and there's a little bit more gas that enters the chamber, which increases the recoil. And because of this, this will pretty much immediately affect the reliability of your Tokyo Model We airsoft pistol. So um, I think that they should definitely look into this because this is uh, very strange and uh, the first time it happened, it happened on my high kappa, and it had never happened before. And then it happened this month after almost two years. And now it happened on my recent Glock 19 build, which I tried to run today, but I couldn't. And it literally 
caused mag purges and all kinds of seriously dangerous situations in very hot weather in the outdoor field in the middle of nowhere. So I don't know if people know about this product or if people do buy it. And if you do have any questions about it or any comments, please drop your comments in the comments section. I would appreciate that very, very much because I don't know exactly how many people do work on their BBUs. And if you know what this is, then well, you know exactly where I'm getting with this. So, um, lo and behold, what, what I'm going to have to do is I will switch the Glock 19 custom BBU back to the stock Tokyo Model E1 when I get back home. So I am on vacation right now. This literally happened to me um, during, um, one an, for me, an important game where, you know, I'm trying to perform and make content and I can't do that because of... Um, fodder parts uh, or you know how, however you want to call it what should i call it fodder i don't know um but it doesn't work that's the bottom line so that's the reason why i'm making this video so yeah it is what it is that that will be switched back and on my other high kappa i i would imagine that that this problem would persist on that as well and i think a few of my other pistols that i did customize in the earlier days also has the same exact piston head and I might have forgotten about it. The same problem also um, occurs with their gaskets on some of the magazine types that they do have. Um, they become, uh, for some of them, withered and some of the guns shoot them fully automatic over a period of time. And, you know, it just calls into question, once again, quality control. And I can also uh, say that their high flow valves that they do have for uh, some of their other models to a Tokyo Maori model, such as the HK45, that also causes some problems too. And because of that, my HK45 does not work as well as it used to a couple of years ago. So um, definitely something to consider, definitely something to call into question. Once again, um, I would like to get some discourse going on here, or essentially with these guys. This is a very impromptu video. This is not a video that I really wanted to make or that I plan on making, but I felt that I needed to kind of get this out while it's still fresh in my mind because, you know, when you're playing in 90 degree weather, um, aside from, you know, having GoPro issues and everything like that, electronical stuff is normal in high, you know, high weather or very hot weather, all right, right? But to deal with something like this where gas is supposed to be performing really, really well and then the next thing you know, it's not performing is nothing short of ridiculous so i will be switching this out and for any of the other ones that i do have that has this um once the problems act up if i have a, a similar issue i'm just going to get rid of them so so you guys get a good look at it it's it's red it's got like six holes on the front um nothing on the back and it's got the o-ring right on the side and this goes right inside of your loading nozzle right right in your bbu housing so um, and it's supposed to increase, I guess, the air seal inside of there to give you a little bit more pressure going inside of the chamber. But the problem is, is that these O-rings, after a while, you know, I guess they wear out or the design is just not feasible for anything. I don't know. But if they're going to continue with something like this, I'd imagine that they would give you at least replacement O-rings. I should be able to replace this. If this is if this is malfunctioning after a year, I should be able to get replacement O-rings for this. I shouldn't have to hunt for these, right? So I think that's something that they should include or include some kind of warranty label or something for this particular part. Um. Anyway, end rant. For the most part, the day was okay, and aside from my Glock not working. Um, everything else for the most part was very very smooth for me uh, the airsoft portion of my trip well the playing airsoft is for the most part pretty much done um, I don't plan on playing any more um, I will fix my Glock and I will look out for the same issue with the other airsoft toys that have this same part installed right so I have another video to make on the Army Armament stuff as well. For those of you guys that have questions, um, that's also going to be coming. So once again, guys, stay tuned. Thank you so much for the support on the upcoming videos as well. 
and look out for some more interesting content that has yet to be released. So once again, this is Tactile Ashigarami TV. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and all that good jazz. See you soon.